Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the 14th day of March, 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I pray for you and bless you. Today, I want to pray against appearance of evil, both in your life, in your family, and in your career and establishment. Whatever that looks like evil, whatever that have the capacity to do you evil today, I counsel them by the authority of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am decreeing into somebody's life today that whatever the enemy have programmed inside this day to hurt you and to make you to cry, by the anointing and the power of the living God, I frustrate them today in Jesus' name. I am praying for somebody today that the Lord will bless you. God Almighty will replenish you abundantly today. You that you are saying you don't have today, I decree you may have woken up this morning without a dime on you. But I'm prophesying that by the time you'll be going to bed tonight, you will have every cause to be grateful to God because the Lord that I serve, the God that is on this mountain, the God of this commission, we supernaturally meet your needs today in Jesus' name. The Lord is asking me to tell somebody today that your efforts will no longer be wasted. I say amen to that. He said, tell them that their efforts shall no longer be wasted. Whatever power that have been wasting your resources, making your efforts to be fruitless, I rebuke those powers. I rebuke the powers in your life. And I say, from now on, you will be on the winning side in Jesus' name. Everyone that is hearing me this morning, wherever you are, I pray that the, the, the land where you are today will answer for you and God will favor you in Jesus' name. Everyone taking you for granted, everyone using you against your wish, I pray that God will frustrate their plans and purpose over your life. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. <clears throat> we give thanks to God for the Lord is doing mighty things on this platform and we remain eternally grateful to God Almighty. We are continuing in our Bible reading today. Yesterday be Monday, we read the book, the, the, the book of Matthew chapters 19 and 20. Today, we are going to read three chapters in the book of Matthew. We are going to be reading Matthew chapter 21, chapter 22, and 23. I take it again. Matthew chapter 21, chapter 22, and verse and chapter 23. Please take time to read. I've you know, received a lot of uh, messages of how God has been using this Bible reading <clears throat> per day to bless and transform lives. God will bless you also. Now, let's take a few testimonies this Tuesday morning and see what the Lord has done again. The first one today say, Good morning, Daddy. Please share my testimonies. I gave my first fruit this January against all odds. To God, <clears throat> excuse me, to God's glory, two different people transferred two full house, two full house year rents. I mean, two full house rents per year for me. Wow. So secondly, you asked us to pray that the mercy of God will intervene over any past mistake. I, any past mistake, I did and even sowed a token seed and God intervened. He gave me favor over my past error that I made. It was corrected. All glory and honor to God alone. God replenish you abundantly, sir. I'm so so person from Lagos. Wow. She gave her first fruit this year, and God used two different people to pay for a house rent for two years. This is God. Another one is here. Good morning, Daddy Aniola. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is my second testimony since last year that I joined this marvelous program through my sister in law residing in Abuja. On the first day of March, you told us to sow our, our fr first fruit, even as little as it is, and I immediately, immediately I followed the instruction. I gave someone 200 Naira recharge card, even when I don't 
even when I don't have any on my own phone, but I did with strong faith. On the 4th of March, I received a message of catering services for two days, which I made profit of 30,000 Naira. Daddy, I cannot thank God enough for hearing the cry of a sinner like me. And may your oil never go dry in Jesus' name. I am so, so passive from Enugun. Praise God. God knows how to meet the needs of his children. Let me take one more for today. <clears throat> this was a good afternoon, sir. Our God's general. You are lifted and highly favored in Jesus' name. Sir, I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life over the first fruit and gift of the beginning of the month. On 2nd of January, as I was not around, I told my son in the shop to keep aside all the money sold that day, which he did, and he sold very well that very day. The following day being thought, he sold just very little, and the devil thought, I will say, let me not give the huge, the huge sales, since I didn't make a good sale the following day, but I didn't mind. I gave my first fruit. Daddy, since then, have been selling well that I'm not even experiencing this cashless situation in my business. My second testimony is on the gift of the new month. On the second of this month of March, I recharged our daddy's line with just a thousand naira. And the following day, which was Saturday, I sold in my shop thrice of what I have never sold in that shop at a stage. At a stage, I became afraid and said, what is going on? And my spirit ministered to me that it should be the gift that I give to man of God. It is good to sow on a fertile ground. Daddy, please pray for me for more miracles to continue. Wow, hallelujah. All the way from Kogi State. To God be the glory. We thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. As we continue to obey divine instructions, we will continue to get more results. Now let's go to hear the word we've been discussing and looking at the subject of obeying kingdom principles. There are principles, there are rules, and there are rules and regulations about the kingdom. The first day we talk about the principle of holiness. The second day, which was yesterday, we talk about the principle of of righteousness the bible says in job chapter 14 verse 30 that righteousness exalts a nation today we are going to be looking at the principle of timing god is god of timing god is god of time he, god does not just do things without appropriating time to whatever he does both in heaven and on earth and that is why I want everybody to know that there is principle of timing. For those of you or for those of us that that don't know uh, that don't know the right time. Some people they, they I, I, I wonder people say there is African time. There is no African time anywhere. The same time in Europe is the same time in Africa, is the same time time in Ghana and in Nigeria. Though we may have different time zones, but when the meeting is gonna start by four PM, you see an average African man will not go there by four PM, he will be going there by six PM. That is abuse of principle of time. If you are going to enjoy the principle of God in this kingdom, you must know about the correct timing. If you look at the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 8 talks about, he said, to everything in life there is time and there is season for everything under the heaven. As you hear me this morning, I want you to follow the principle of righteousness, follow the principle of holiness, and also observe the principle of timing. Know the right time to do things. Know the right time, the accurate time to launch out. Know the time to sit back. Know the time to do what you are expected to do. Don't take things for granted. God is God of time. God is God of time. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says in the cool of the day, that is in the evening hour, God usually he will take off some time of off work to go and visit the first couple in the garden. So God knew the right time to do that. Many people hearing me this morning, you don't even know the right time to do certain things. You, you, you may be doing what is good at the wrong time. So you need to ask God to help you to observe the principle of right timing. Timing is very important. 
I see a lot of people today coming late to church. But if you are going for an appointment, if you are going for an, a visa interview, some people go to embassies to sleep so that they will not miss the time given to them for visa interview. But the same thing is not applicable when coming to the house of God. You need to be conscious of the principle of timing. God is God of time and he will, he, he will also, he also appreciate us if we value that time and we follow suit. I pray for you today that as you follow these principles, I pray that more doors will be opened unto you and as doors are opening, you will be blessed and you will be lifted. God bless you. Remember to read your three chapters of the book of Matthew today. Matthew chapter 21, chapter 22, and chapter 23. May the Lord bless you today. May the Lord prosper you, and may he increase you and your family. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.